All right, hey Aries, so we're checking in on the silent, you guys, spying on the one that is on your mind space. So this could be days, weeks, months, um, whatever the case may be. I'm only pulling energy of the person on your mind. So you're going to know this is your, you're just going to feel it in your soul um, that this is your read, okay? Um, I will pull how they, uh, what they've shown you and the energy that you've seen, okay? Anyways, you guys, I have links in the description. Um for my ebook and paperback book. It's a twin flame journey, but it is a depiction of the healing journey and how I got to where I am. Okay, so I'm just gonna start with um, their energy and we're gonna see who it is we're talking about. Their energy, so you could be dealing with the Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, you got your, uh, oh gosh, who is this, Libra. Um, Libra, you got Scorpio. And we got the nine of one, this person's. So they could have you blocked. Um, you could actually have them blocked. Um, okay, so there could be some blocking going on. The reason why I'm saying that is because you got the two of swords, you got that nine of wands. It kind of indicates um, some blockages. They're coming off as wounded, guarded. Um, you know, I feel like they're kind of being stubborn with that two of swords. I don't know why I'm feeling drawn to say that. Um, it's not because they don't want a new beginning. It's almost like their expectation is for you to reach out to them if you want something to do with them. Okay, now I, I'm just, I don't advise people to do that, but you, you know, everybody has free will, so you guys can do what you want. Now, what I'm going to do is go through the rest of the read and we're, we're going to get the energetic feel. So you're going to know whether or not you should reach out if you're the one that, um, um, kind of messed up with them. Okay. So, and I'm not pulling past, we're not going to do the blame game or anything like that. Um, I feel like they, again, they just, they have the desire for a new beginning, Okay, their current energy to me says that they have it, but because the ace is, you know, showing in reverse, I just feel like they're kind of, um, the, 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 there's a blockage somewhere. Either you you have them blocked, they've tried to reach out, or they have you blocked and you've tried to reach out, or they're simply saying, I'm not going to reach out, Aries, you can reach out. Okay, um, current energy with the Five of Cups is thinking about the past, reflecting on the past, uh, coulda, shoulda, woulda, um, you know what I mean. Um, that's kind of where that card sits at. So let's just see what it is they've shown you in the past when it comes to your guys' energy. What they've shown you. Okay, so I feel like you're most likely the one that has stepped away. Okay, I say this because, um, you know, you got your Ace of Cups. So maybe they gave you the um, incentive that this was going to lead and develop into something bigger than what it was. But the Lover's card showing up right here. Um, it's almost like they maybe have treated you like an option, okay? There was like a rose uh, the colored tent on this connection, right? Um, but it's almost like they never fully um, committed to you or the dynamic of this connection, played with your energy, your emotions, juggling. They were always too busy for you once they got to know you or once they got whatever they wanted. Um, this is also a string and a long card too, this five of wands, okay? So I kind of feel like um, the energy at first was really lovey-dovey. Look like it was heading in the right direction, but I kind of feel what happened with you guys is um, this person could have uh, actually just uh, negated your feelings and emotions. Um, once they got what they wanted, they figured, oh, okay, um, I'm just going to um, keep going. I'm just going to keep going in, in the direction I want to, you know, and it's almost like I'm feeling like they didn't even try. Um, once you guys connected, once you guys, uh, did whatever you did, you know, once you made the connection, um, and it doesn't have to be a sexual connection, but it's almost like they were kind of pulling, pulling your strings or pulling your leg or something, just making you believe that things were going in a direction again. Um, but I can't help but feel like they were messing around or toying with that energy. So let's see how it is they currently feel about you. How do they currently feel about Aries? Oh, they can't stop thinking about you. Look at that. Um, I... <laughs> that's what that card means to me and that's what it means all right the page of wands comes through that's a um it's a you know new beginning uh, this person's waiting for you i know i know i treated you like an option okay um but it's like i've done myself a disservice because now they're kind of being pouty you guys might be seeing a lot of five five fives okay um but i feel like they do want this they want a rebirth they want to restart but it's almost like they're waiting for you to reach out to them because they messed up treated you like an option um and it could be, too, that they're taking on the role of that pity party because, you know, they kind of screwed up. So you pull your energy away um, or whatever the case may be. And it's like, you know, if you were chasing this person beforehand, well, how come Aries isn't chasing me anymore? Well, because you you just I ran out of breath trying to trying to catch you. Right. So let's see what what is actually stopping them from coming through. I mean, I, I feel like we kind of have that. Uh, I feel like we have the synopsis, but OK. Um, what's stopping them from coming through their ego first of all the devil card showing up but um, it's almost like they feel like this is something that's done it's kaput it's over with 
the cycle is closed, the door is closed, the time frame is closed. Um, again, you guys could be dealing with this uh, disconnection for months, days, weeks. Um, but I can't help but feel like they feel like there's a cl it's a, cl a closed chapter, you know. Um, you got your hermit card too, which is silence, um, and that is probably speaking volumes in this person's ear. Um, I feel the three of uh, pentacles represents some sort of a distant hopeful um, reconciliation or coming together. Um, but again, I can't help but feel like they're trying to, make, not trying to make you, but it's almost like energetically, they want you to do all the work. They want you to put your best foot forward. If, if you wanted me, um, you know, you would come and get me, but it's like, if you screwed up enough, um, I'm not going to come and get you. I can't help but feel like this person was playing games a little bit with you. And, um, I feel like they squeezed whatever it was that they wanted out of you. And then they just bailed, they jammed on it, you know? Um, so let's see what were their intentions all in all. What were their overall intentions for the past? What was this person's intentions in the past with Aries? What was their intentions? What do we get? We got the Six of Wands. Okay, so that card actually did come through in reverse, but I'm going to put it in the upright. Um, it's like I want to work on something. I want things to get going, but um, you got the Eight of Cups too. Um, so... I, I can't help but feel, um, I'm kind of going two ways with this right here. It's almost like they wanted things to work out with you, but with that six of wands, um, coming through in reverse, it's almost like maybe they kind of had a, a preemptive, um, feeling that this might not have worked out. Okay. It's almost like they knew what they were going to do beforehand. Um, it could be too that, you know, um, somebody from their past showed back up and it's not that they intended that to happen. Um, but I mean, I can't help but feel like that eight of cups is going back to something, um, and feeling really stuck in this connection. Um, feeling stuck as in, I can't, I don't, I don't know if I should move forward with you. Um, you know, um, I feel like they were trying to make it work with you, but it's almost like if they were holding um, somebody in a regard in the past, I can't help but feel like they're walking back towards that past. Um, and you got to understand the karmic cycles that we go through. You don't want somebody with unfinished business coming into your life anyway. I mean, it might not feel like that right now. Or it might not have felt like that at the time, but you don't want somebody coming through with an unfinished karmic cycle because what they do is they, they're going to express that negative energy into your dynamic. You know what I mean? So I kind of feel like this person um, is, and it's not even that they were hoping somebody came back, but it's almost like I can't, I can't put myself all the way into this connection and know, when my heart is still sitting over here with somebody else. And I feel like that's why they were kind of being stingy with their um, energy. You know what I mean? So let's just see if they're going to come back. This is a 30 to 60 day intention. 30 to 60 days. Are they going to make that return to Aries? We got the tower card. Look at that. The tower card. I feel like they're going to pull out of their funk, you guys. Yeah. You got your high priestess. I feel like that represents you. The queen of cups. Um, you know, I feel like that represents you. I feel like the high priestess is that unattainable energy. Um, and I feel like that's where you're kind of placing your, yourself and that's where you should. Um, the Queen of Cups comes off as compassion, loving, caring, nurturing. And I feel like that could be some of the energy that you gave this person beforehand. Uh, with the Tower card coming through in reverse, I do feel like they're going to make a movement towards you. You got the Ace of Swords coming through also. Um, and I'm not, I, I just, I don't feel like it's applicable to read that in the reverse. You know, I feel like they are going to come through because the Tower, when it comes through in reverse, tells me that there's going to be, um, a, there's a change in the air, Okay. Um, and with that high priestess card, if you've just made yourself, um, completely unattainable, um, that's a magnet, man, that that's usually what works to pull or reel people back in. Um, so I want to see what their intentions are when this connection comes back through. And it's not just the unattainable factor that comes with the high priestess. It's almost like, you know, um, I hate to say it cause it sounds like cliche, but it's, it's like, uh, this, this epiphany, this, this soulmate, you know, this bond that you have. Um, or that they felt, you know, and I feel like you felt that almost instantaneously, but it's like, it's taken a minute for that disconnection to happen for that person to realize, uh, which is not fair. So let's see what their intentions are when they come back through their intentions. When they come back through, um, they want to close the chapter of the past. Look at that. I'm, I'm your divine partner. Okay. Here's what, here's what I feel like, um, th this is what I feel this is saying. Okay. And I don't know if you guys are readers, but, um, whenever we see, or we're, whenever we feel drawn to, uh, call the card out on the bottom of the deck that holds the most energy. All right. So what I feel is happening here is you got your seven of swords. That's a real nasty card. All right. The five of swords actually came through in reverse, which indicates, Hey, 
I want to reconcile what my behavior was in the past. Okay, I want to show you that I can be better than what you've seen because that's not um, accurate of me, even if it was accurate at the time. All right, so the Ten of Swords, I feel, is to close the, the, toxic, the toxic out, to close the sadness out, to close the burdens out with this connection. Um, probably most likely come through and tell you their real feelings. Um, but if you guys no longer feel deeply connected or soul tied to this person, then, you know, you're within your rights to move forward. So let's just see if there's a potential for this connection to grow. Is there a potential for this one to grow? All right. You got your four of wands over there. You, look at that. The return. Okay, so what was stuck beforehand, um, I do feel like it has potential if you guys can find it in your heart to forgive this person and move forward. Um, I do feel like nurture comes in, balance comes into play, um, warm, loving energy, something that you probably most, most likely have not experienced with this person. Um, there is the potential for that union harmony. You got your marriage card. You got your settling down card. You got your um, happiness, right? Contentedness. Um, but again, I feel like that's going to be up to you guys, Where you, wherever it is you feel your heart sits with this person. I don't feel like there's negative intentions when they come back around, but um, again, I, I have to say, I feel like some of you guys might be over it. So um, initials come through with this read, you guys. We have UY. A lot of good ones, huh? QX. And then we got AP. Aries, I'm going to leave it there, you guys. Sending love. Take care.